Welcome back East Texas. We're joined again by Jan Hurst, the author of His Sunrise, My Sunset. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> so how did you decide to take your thoughts and, you know, your memories and turn it into a book? Well, it was really just from, I kept having the memories come back to me that I had at the time that we were in the hospital when my husband was kept alive for three days. And I just kept waking up and I felt I had to write it down. And then it progressed to a movie uh, because a lot of people that really liked the book said, oh my goodness, this should be a movie. And so I tried to pursue it. Was it hard at all to write the book? Uh, not this book because it was, I guess, very personal. And um, I do believe that's part of the attraction is that it is personal. So people feel like everybody has problems, everybody has challenges, everybody's trying to deal with these things. And, and so, you know, they feel kind of like they know me. Absolutely. So as you mentioned, your book has inspired a movie. Right. So what's been the most exciting part about this process? Um, I actually got to go to California when it was filmed. Uh, it was filmed in Hollywood and Los Angeles area. Oh, fun. And they, they film on site. Um, so it was just very, very special. I got to meet, obviously, the actors. And um, having them ask me, um, well, what's the demeanor of this person or what's the demeanor of that person and, and really be so interested in it and find out that they were all uh, people of faith was really exciting to me. So did you actually get to take part in the film or make a cameo? I did a cameo in the film. Really? Um, when? Sitting at my own wedding. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah, it was fun. Did, was that planned or did it kind of happen spur of the moment? Um, well, they asked me if I wanted to and, you know, I said, well, sure, since I'm here, that would be a really, really good idea. So who do you think should see this movie? I think it's, uh, it's really good for anybody. I mean, obviously, people that have lost someone can had definitely relate to it, but I think it's also important for people who have not lost someone because it helps you understand how people who have feel and, and how it feels when you approach them and, and just gives you a little bit better insight into maybe being more sensitive to other people. For sure, so anyone. anyone. Um, so a week ago you actually had the movie career, so yes. how'd that end up going? That was really great. Um, Times Square Grand Slam had it for um, three showings on Monday, and then they added the Sunrise in Heaven for Wednesday and for Thursday because it was going so well, so I was very excited about that. I think Sunrise in Heaven is going to be a good one. So if you missed it last week, you can, you, there's still an opportunity to see the movie. Well, you can get your DVD. They'll be out tomorrow, or it'll be on demand. And, um, you know, iTunes, and depending on what media you like to use, but you can get it on DVD from Amazon or Walmart or wherever tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Awesome. And then what about the book? Where can people pick that up? Well, the book is um, at Green Acres Baptist Church for one place a store, or it's on Amazon also, or... Uh, Barnes and Noble online um, and as a matter of fact next week on the 18th of April I'm having a book signing at um, Sweet Gourmet and oh, so I'll have books and DVDs there. Nice so if people want to find out more information about that where can they find it? About the the book signing next week book or your book? Or? Well I, I think Sweet Gourmet is putting something out but it'll be from 10 to 2 next week it's in French Quarter Sweet Gourmet um, and just stop by. All right. Thanks so much, Dan, for coming Thank back. You. Thank you.